Hey everybody, I was asked to do a commentary to show you what I do in Legend of Soli. Build orders are always the same when I do this map, no matter what I play with. It just matters on what I put on, you know, for wood, for gold, for whatnot. I always have 10 caravans only. I always have um, 20 on wood or food, mattering on the unit. And then I have 10 running. Sometimes I'll do 10 more caravans, so it's a 20, 20 plus a 10 running around build later on but that's about that's it every single time now you'll see here that I always build a town a second TC right away here's the fort that I place every map got it memorized now where I place it it'll mess with the south uh, economy drastically as you see they're building the second town center I'm upgrading my storehouses and I am searching my full map now I'll place the wall because I'm doing this solo, but normally the siege player will place walls all the way through. As you see, stuff is still building and getting there. I've decided to do this in normal speed so I could say everything that I really feel needs to be said and that I'm not rushed in time. Now I put the starting units up there to defend. I got lucky and didn't get hit by many. Now this tower is done, for excuse me, and I threw it to attack the... Uh, storehouse right away to cripple their economy it, just in case some get by. Now I build the wall and I build two towers here. I only have enough stone for one. Now I come back here and tell it to hit villagers. Now as you see I'm building villagers because I grouped one of my town centers. At the very beginning of the game I, group, I um, told one town center to build ten and put it on berries. The second town center is grouped right now so I can sit here and attack villagers while I group up ten to um, ten villagers to be built to put on wood. Now some people just let the fort just go, but if you do that and there's no villagers to kill, they'll kill the next building before they kill a villager. And what happens is the villagers will sometimes get enough resources to build more villagers or even build up an army and start building farms. You see, I just got done and I noticed because I was done that this town center, which I'll group as one now, put it on stone, go back over here, and slowly build up that until I hit 44. Now it's 44, not 40, because I have four units that are military. So this is going to give me my 40 units of villagers to start with. And I do not have caravans yet. A lot of people decide to throw into caravans very early into the game. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll start building my second. Oh, no, I will not. I do not have enough stone yet. So I'll go back and get some more stone. Now I have enough stone. And I will get that second tower up. Now you always notice that this part of the map is always slow, but I found this build order to be very, very useful. I know everybody has their own thing, does their own stuff. Now the villagers over here are done. Now I'll split them five, five, five on food and five on, oh, excuse me, gold. And then these villagers up here, oh, upgrading the wall as you saw. Now these villagers will run over here and build a market. Now I'll start getting my market up at about the four minute mark, not any sooner like some people do. As you see, I keep jumping over and checking the fort, which is grouped as group number two right now. I will delete these, they're not needed, because I'm going to be aging very shortly and these two towers will stop anything. As you saw, I just started aging my next wall upgrade I hit two and popped over here so I don't have to click on the mini map at all grouping 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 I'm going to tell you it's the easiest stuff to do and it saves you time here we go build the town center there and then those five villagers over there will stay there for the rest of the game and collect wood now you could build some farms here after you're done with the berries. Um, I buy most of the food.
food I need. I have to buy a little extra food, 900 food more in solo because I am needing to upgrade my ballistas. But as Greek, I buy my food. Um, also, my upgrades in the storehouse. But I find that it's easier just to go purchase it than it is to waste money on a farm. Not money, excuse me. Wood on a farm and go from there. Now, my build order is always the same as you see. I always build about five, <coughs> excuse me, about five archery ranges and be done with it. Here I'll build one siege workshop, later on I'll build another. But as you see, the build orders always stay the same. Now placement, I have way more room here so it doesn't matter, but usually you have to be very careful on how you place things because you do not want to get clustered with your ally. A lot of people ask me why do I hide my cursor. I think it's nicer to watch visually as I'm watching it right now. I hide the chat, I hide the cursor, I hide everything that I can. It's easier and nicer for the people watching to see, I guess, the video. I'm going to place my last town center, take all my villagers, throw it up quickly as possible. Now, I do not use hotkeys to select the buildings. I've never been, I, I don't have them memorized, you know, A for archery range. I don't want to sit here and mess with that. I think it's going to take me longer to do that anyway. As you see, everything's almost built. The only thing left to build is one more um, siege workshop, which we'll get to later, and a crap load of houses. This is the easiest combination in the game, ballistas and gastros. I don't know if the summer patch is going to change things up. Um, I hear they're going to put wind up in ra ra ragged units, so that could change things on how well a gastro or an archer of any sort will do. Now you'll see that I still only have 10 caravans out there. It's all I need. I do later on get my butt kicked by some hippocons, but I can sell the wood that I collect and I come back and do just fine. As you see, I'm getting short on food. So this is the point where I collect wood very good and I'll sell wood to buy food. And with the market upgraded once at least and soon twice, the ratio of loss will not be much. Now I have the best gear for um, range finally for um, the gastros. I just bought a 40 Zeus Bell. I've always been using a 37 since November but now I finally got a 40. I'm very happy as you see the gear that I have. Now I didn't show the gear for my ballistas because I totally brain farted and forgot so I do apologize. Um, they're pure DPS, the best DPS plates, um, heavy beams, and elephant arm. It's not the best DPS but I'll take that little bit of range so the legend ballistas don't hit me. The one thing I hate, if you look in the corner, the villagers aren't showing idle. I hate when that bug happens. That's why you're always looking around the map making sure villagers are working because sometimes they just sit there with their thumb up their butt doing nothing. At this point in the map, um, the fort's done over there on the south. There's no point for to even go look anymore. There's no buildings, no villagers. It's completely dead. Um, as you saw that I started to build that second, well not second, but another storehouse over there in the corner. Um, when you're playing with uh, co-op, you're going to want to chop these trees down right after you build your market. Uh, normally I'd build my market in co-op, as you all have seen, right next to my second TC. And they go through that area, so you got to be careful. 
um, to a lot of newbies out there, and even some people that have played for a while, I want to make perfectly clear, you don't need to build your market way up by the general. It's, it's not needed. Um, once you get speed gear on your caravans, it's just, it's just overkill. It's not something that's needed. I would like to point out that I think ballistas are the best siege because of the bolt carrier. I know some people out there think cats are. Um, I just I just don't see it. I, I've asked how they think that, but I haven't got a real good answer from anybody. Just because of the bolt carrier increases. My DPS is at 134, and I, I just don't s think cats can get that high. I, I don't have the DPS plates on my cats, though, so I can't be 100% for sure on that. Because I'm not going to sit here and tell you something that I don't know for sure. See, those villagers are still sitting idle on that tree. thought they would start working, but of course not. Now I'll get up my second... Siege Workshop. Now, my ratio when I do solo is six ballistas, which would be 146 gastros, 10 caravans, 10 villagers that are on gold right now. They should be on the second gold by now. Uh, maybe not. Maybe they're still on the first pile. Uh, no, they're on the second pile, which are grouped as number two which they build on the run, then I have 20 villagers on wood the whole time. As you see, I need to buy resources to get the last two upgrades. Now, I use the Age 1 advisor for cheaper villagers. Now, you could use the Storehouse advisor. They both are very, very good. The Storehouse advisor helps you get your economy going a little faster. Um, in upgrades, but the cheaper for villagers lets you get more villagers out early. So the question is, is what do you want more? Do you want to be able to spend a crap load in your storehouse and you know not not have to worry about that, or do you want to get a little faster economy going? See, I don't know. I think both ways have their pros and their cons, and I think both ways work great. It's, it, it's totally one of those things that's up to you. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say this is the best, because it's not. I think they're both the best. It just matters on your game style and your gameplay. So, like, my age too, I use 12% uh, yeah, range. Some people prefer to use Village Elder. That one second improves drastically to get more villagers out or some people like to use the armory guy to get half the armory upgrades age three is pretty much universal though everybody pretty much wants cheaper a aging to four so I mean that's a universal thing especially if you're not Calvary now age four that's a crapshoot there's so many different good ones that people use and I guess it just matters on the unit. Because if I wasn't using ballistas, I'd use the 4% more DPS and health. But now as you see, I'm at 200 population. I have 10 too many um, villagers out there so, because I have 30 on wood. So I will kill off 10 villagers here pretty quick. should be right now. Because I only need 20. And I'll take these five and send them on the other side of the map. Because I don't want them to clear out wood on one side and then be doing nothing when I'm in the middle of something. Less micromanagement, the better, I say. I'm terrible at it. Now, I'm just waiting for these villagers to get done with their stone. Because they're my runners that are going to build on the run 
and not stone gold. But they're the ones that build on the run. That's why I upgrade the storehouse so they can get done with all 10,000 gold. Now, my groupings, as you see, the military is one, the villagers are two, and my next grouping, excuse me, is my archery ranges, which are three. I only am good enough to micromanagement three. Some people are really good and can micromanagement a whole heck of a lot more, but three is all I can do. If I'm not running with villagers, I'll micromanage the two different types of units into one and two. Now, here I have nothing but archers and pelts, pretty much. As a ballista player, it is critical for you to ignore everything if you have a gastro player, especially for newbies. If you're, you see a group of archers, gastros, pelts coming at you, ignore the cavalry at first, kill those archers, archer units, because one shot from them will kill one shot of, you know, the gastros on the other side, and one shot from your ballistas will just kill them all. So, a lot of people don't know that, or choose to try to save the gastro's front line when they're getting killed from back. Here I will place in a line 10 ranges and the gastro's I upgraded their hellfire so they're really able to take down buildings very well besides forts and town centers. As you're seeing they're killing these buildings, these towers, and the ballistas are not hitting them at all. You're going to see the one weakness gastros have, and here it is. But it has to be in a huge number for them to feel the pain of it. See, I have pushed back my siege to try to pop off the archer units, which I, there were a few and I did. But when it comes to cavalry, you're just going to have to let them shoot it out. If you see legendary hippocons come at you, though, Force fire. Tell your unit to take all your units and hit that one unit. They will do the most damage. They will kill your siege, your everything in one hit. So, unlike the other cavalry. And I'll place the rest. Oh. General's pretty easy to kill. You guys don't need to do anything special with the general. I lost two ballistas there, so I'm going to build two more. And as you see, I have seven ranges. I need to get three more up. I will also get two more siege workshops here. Okay, here comes the archers. Here would be a great time for a ballista player just to hit them all. When I talk about ballista player, I'm talking about somebody that has 40 ballistas. Me, I only have six, so I'm not going to be able to take six and hit a group and kill them all instantly. I'm going to hurt them, but not, it's not going to be an instant kill like a 40 ballista spam will be. You wall off here, just so you can build and get up. See, you build no forts. Forts just take too much time and are a pain in the you-know-what. So you just wall it off. I'm going to get the last three ranges up and the two sieges up here. No, it's up to you if you want to get the chest now or if you want to get the chest later. It's no big deal because the time stops as everybody knows. Or at least most people know that. I'm just killing the walls out of boredom while I wait for my villagers to get ready. A lot of people don't like to do walls from the general on. They find it too complicated, I guess. A few people I've talked to says it's 
not the easiest thing to do to know where to place it. Now, I'll show you, it, it's, it's really easy if you've done it enough times, but you go from the corner here, and you'll see where I start. Oh, forgot about this. Let me kill these guys real quick. And you see where that corner starts? You just move it straight out. You don't need much room. We're not putting forts down. We're not doing anything. We're just making sure we don't get flanked. As you see, there's the patrol ahead. Well, they didn't all come at me, but most of them did. But that's the patrol you got to look out for. It's got Jasons and Calvary and whatnot. They're really the only thing to watch out for in this area. They're just annoying. They'll circle back around here. Just give it a minute. Um, also, while I have you between the patrol, a quick way to stop is not to click on one thing, like something you want to kill. Click in the middle of your group, because when you click on one thing only, you waste a lot of arrows or whatever you're attacking with. Here's the patrol. See, watch, see, I clicked in the middle of the group and then I shot all of them. I didn't just shoot one and kill one and then wait for reload. I shot all of them. And by the second shot, most of them were dead. Unlike, let's say you shoot one, kill it, shoot another, kill it, shoot another, kill it. You still have cavalry there shooting you. Well, not shooting you, hitting you. But you get what I mean. See, the wall is pretty simple and basic. I, I just went straight across. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Now, if you do decide to leave the south base up and running, you'll get attacked from the south a little bit. But you won't get massive, massive hits. I mean, you will get hit, but it won't be so bad where it's overwhelming. I do not... I've been doing this way for over a month and a half now and I can't I can't for the life of remember me what comes from the south what units wise I think I know pikemen do I know some cavalry do but if you decide to solo this map um, I'd go with DPS gear for your ballistas at the very least And here's going to be the one spot where I get overwhelmed. My troops get overwhelmed. I get destroyed. Everything dies. And it's the one weakness. It's Calvary. Even with the massive range out there, they still get creamed by Calvary. And you'll slowly see that I was at a population of almost 200, or I was at 200. It's just the siege just can't get around to shoot. They just overwhelm me, the Hippocons do. And one hit, one death, you know, nothing you can do about it. As you see, they're all pretty much dead. It's not like the army was so massive that they continuously ran me over. I did use um, poison on them. If I didn't use poison on them, I probably would have gotten ran over. Uh, the uh, Looking back at it now, I was just too busy trying to get out of there and rebuild. I probably didn't have to um, do a full rebuild because most of those cavalry units were pretty much dead. But, quick rebuild. You'll see at this point, I've ran out of gold. I only have 10 caravans running, but I have a lot of wood. It doesn't look like I have a lot of wood because I placed... Um, a lot of that wood down already but as you'll see I'll go back and delete the 10 ranges get most of that wood back and then just sell I've already sold food and stone 
But when you do a co-op, you usually don't you lose that many. I never lose that many in a co-op. Yeah, because the blisters are so overpowered, and instead of uh, 144, well, not 144, but I usually have 150, 160, 170 gastros, and it usually does the job. Now, there is a video out that we just did yesterday, mattering on how late you watch this. I mean, if you watch this months from now, it's not yesterday anymore. But it shows where me and this guy, he didn't have the best gear. He was all right gear. Um, definitely not a newbie. Just didn't know how to do it. You know, I ran into that a lot on this map that there's people that say they never beat this map. It's too hard. But they're not newbies. They have good gear. They're good players. They understand build orders. They understand how the game works perfectly. They just haven't beat the map and haven't been shown how. And he was long swordsman in Celtic, Celtic, excuse me. Um, and I've said over and over and over again, it's the best unit in the game for this map if you can't do archers or ballistas. And we got our asses handed to us by three waves at different times of legendary ballistas and we still won. His meat shield was strong enough to stop it and my ballistas are the ones you see now which had enough DPS to stop it. So if you're somebody that wants to do the meat shield and don't want to do sparas because they only have 39 DPS and they just take abuse, forget any other unit and just Use long swordsmen once you get decent gear on them, and you're good to go. And if you're soloing, you're going to have to micro after this point. You're going to have to break your units because of the three forts and the ballistas. You can't. You're not going to be able to just walk in and hit. Now I'll get the other ranges up, even though I don't need them all and it's overkill now. But I did not know that when the last cavalry rush hit me, it freaking killed me completely. Now their second cavalry rush will hit me here, but I am better lined up for it. They only hit the front troops, they don't go all the way around me like they did last time you'll see. And with them only hitting the front troops, instead of going all the way around me, they don't have the ability to hurt me as bad. They still hurt me pretty bad. As you see, my units just drop like flies. But now they're pretty much done. They don't have time to rebuild. They're, they're done for. Now, some people might say, why not use the legend... Um, arm. And I will say, tell, you, tell you this, just like I tell everybody else this, if it wasn't for ballistas, I would. But if I take off the arm that I have, the ballistas can hit me. Now, if I put in runic bronze armoring, armoring, oh god, that's a word I can't say today, um, the, the fort should not be able to hit me. But I prefer the extra DPS. Now some people might say, why not use the armor and use the legend um, uh, arm? And they say you can. If you want to, you can do it that way. That is, that is a plausible thing to do. It's less DPS overall towards units, but it's better DPS towards buildings. So it, it's it's a catch-22, you know, some good things but some bad things. So I prefer to take the overall DPS over everything and outrange the ballistas this way. Now, once you get to this point and you've already killed both the forts, it's pretty much, the rest of this map is just easy. 
because you just leave your gastros back some because of the range is so freaking ridiculous and you move your ballistas up some and anything that comes to attack them will get your gastros will just pop off and kill I suggest um, if you're new to doing this map and whatnot and especially especially if you don't get the chest as you go make sure you kill off this town completely um, always get you see I'm ignoring the fort right now always get that stuff first here we, I'm going to use an epic pillage that fort is gone quickly I love that consumable everything else is just going to drop like quicker than crap and I don't need all that I'll delete that remake that as unit 3 delete unit 2 which are my villagers just make and there they go and just make nothing but troops now so if you leave any behind they can rebuild really fast and what you'll have is you'll be moving on to the next area and then you'll get flanked by Calvary and that's just bad now you gotta get this town center also and there's two ways to do this you can go straight down kill town center and keep going but there's two legend ballistas there so you'd have to just kill them and keep moving plus kill some towers and whatnot but I usually just go around it usually doesn't matter to me and if they need any more um, villagers they have to take them from the field or the south city if they have any you see my gasters are being a little finicky trying to move but this is a good time to just tell you you know you can do this with pretty much any unit if you have a ballista if you want to know what units can be done go to the forum uh, check Legend Soli, it's up top, it's all color coded I'm trying to make it neat for everybody so it doesn't look all clustered and anything that I've done that says Legend Soli you can do if it just use the same tactic, the same build order, the same everything because it all doesn't change the only thing that's changing is the units and the people I play with I try to make it diverse so people see yeah you know it's not just me and the same guy where you know we know each other's moves and know what we're going to do I mean I also got other people to show that anybody can do this it's, it's you don't have to know exactly what your partner is going to do I did try to do this map solo with no gear on it on anything the gasters or the ballistas and I, well after you seeing how fast I got run over with Calvary, you can only imagine the outcome to that, I'm sure. But if you guys ever have any questions on how to do this or whatnot, or any questions to this video, don't hesitate to ask. That's why I'm doing it. I do it. I do it for everybody else, not me. So you all have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.